hi guys welcome to the channel my name is dirpangar and in this video we are going to talk about how to call an expression set from an integration procedure in the last video we have discussed how to create an expression set and how to call an expression set from an omni script itself if you haven't watched that video yet i would suggest please go and watch that video as well and then come back to this video in this video we will talk about how to call this expression set from an integration procedure so let me go back to our omni studio and um this is the omni script that we have built and if i come back over and click on this code and click on this button it will call the expression set and it gives the result for 55000 and if i come back to over here and click change it to back to silver it gives us 900 so it's working fine and similarly if you want to simulate it right so this product name is something that it takes as input and if you click on simulate it gives the same today's price as 55000 so if we want to call this expression set from an uh, um, integration procedure there is an help article explained uh, by salesforce itself they have uh, explained how to say uh, properly pass the set in json path and how to uh, change the set json node to be able to call the expression set from an integration procedure right so let's go back to omni studio now i have an integration procedure ready over here it does not have any other elements to call the expression set there is an action that is known as expression set action let's drag it over here this expression set action needs a few para parameters the first one is a configuration name so configuration name is nothing but the name of the expression set so if we come over here this is the name of the expression set fine product rates today so let's copy this name and make sure that it is name not the api name let's go back to here and let's paste it the second thing it needs a send json path and send json node so basically we have to create an send json path uh, as of now we don't have anything in particular but salesforce has explained if you want to call this expression set uh, we have to give a send json path so le uh, let's create a send json path and uh, let me come over here and let me name as product input right so this product input will contain the inputs for the expression set and if we go to the expression set over here where you simulated the price this is the json that was getting passed right if i copy it over here and come back here if i paste it so this is now the input for our expression set let's assume it for now okay now there are two things that salesforce has explained one is send json path right so send json path is something that we have to pass uh so send json path is the product input because this product name that is uh, getting passed to the expression set that we see over here that is inside of the product input right so this is the send json path and in the send json uh, node we can write uh, just like anything so it will just rename it and it will act as an id and we will uh, see that as well when we get the response so let me change it to product input right and apart from that uh, they have asked uh, not to configure anything else so we should be good and let's uh, drag and response action and in this response action let's uh, copy this expression set action to because whatever we are getting from this expression action to expression set action we just want it to be present as an output right so this is the send json path i am giving in the response action right so now let's come back over here and let's click on execute so you can see the price is coming 55000 for a uh, gold right and here the product input product input is something that we have given as the send json node right so instead of product input you can just give anything at it will uh, use that as an id right 
and second thing let's change it back to silver and let's see if it, that works for us or not so ideally you should be getting 900 instead of 55,000 let's click on execute I think there is some cache issue let me click on execute again so now we are getting 900 right so this is all about how you can call an expression set uh, within an integration procedure right so i think that's it for this video and in the next video we'll talk about how to call an expression set from the flow itself and thank you for watching